let's talk about report cards. They can be stressful for students, parents, and even for school districts. But the Medford School District recently received its grades for its special education programs, and this report isn't one they're going to want to hide from parents. Medford School District's four-year graduation rate has increased more than 28% since the 2014-2015 school year. It's five-year graduation rate up more than 40%. We're, we're really excited. I mean, we obviously like to see um, our students who have lagging skills and need additional support cross that graduation line, and it really is a team effort. A team made up of hundreds of teachers, faculty, and staff, but also the Parent Outreach Committee, a group that meets monthly to discuss new ways to provide extra help to the students who need it. I'm very proud to be a part of it. Because Kelly Dempsey has a unique role in the program. She's a third grade teacher at Abraham Lincoln, but also a mom to a fourth grader with autism. It's been a real positive change for her here. Dempsey's favorite part of the report card is the increase in inclusivity. It's a territory that some people tend to sometimes be uneasy with, but knowing that before kids are special ed or resource or whatever their needs may be, that they're all part of that general education system first. The rate of special needs students learning in regular classrooms up 8.5% and above the state target. We're really wanting our um, students with disabilities to access not only the general education content, but also that general education school experience and get them connected. Among other things, district leaders credit a peer mentoring program for the rising numbers. More than 100 students help out the teachers by helping out the classmates who need a little more attention. It's amazing. I watched a kiddo today who struggles with writing and another girl who had already finished her writing for the day. And I look over and he's dictating to her. And it was 100% not prompted, not organized by me or any other adult. And it was just what they did and it was awesome. District leaders say their classroom changes are leading special needs students to better opportunities post-graduation. One of um, my staff's favorite tasks is to contact students who have graduated to see what they're up to. While there was only a slight increase for Medford's former students who are now employed or pursuing higher education, the numbers are above the state's target. But some parents aren't convinced their kids are being properly prepared for post-grad. Yeah, I would like that to, to be true, but it's now the one that I have 15 years old, she says sometimes some things, but she doesn't do them. So I don't know if I, I, say, I believe those things. Reynaldo Ramirez has two kids, 15 and 8, who both struggle with learning disabilities. He says he can be skeptical about how much help they receive, but one thing he will boast about is this parent outreach program. He says it's helped him be a better father. Because I learned so many things that I didn't know before. All the people that come and give us opinions, it's just all, all of us want to do better. Though the numbers are up, striving to do better is something everyone in the district can agree on. certainly have a lot of work to do, but I think the things that we are doing are working. The more we practice the inclusive practices with everyone, that the more we will make it a full district-wide thing. One thing to note is that Special Education Director Tanya Tong tells me the Special Education Report Card data is generally two years behind. She says the district has continued to improve its numbers since that report was released this spring.